So guys, just made a little rookie mistake there. First couple holes I played, I didn't have the mic on. So I'm talking and talking, <laughs> talking to myself. In any event, guys, you can rest assured when you get a miss a short hitter video. It's not scripted out very well. Not scripted out at all, actually. So I just kind of say what's on my mind most of the time. For better or worse, I hope you guys enjoy it. 105, haven't been this far down in a while. It is downwind, it's getting a little firm out. A little uphill, and we're gonna go with the 48. We don't really wanna go long on this hole. Below the hole is acceptable. We hit it really good, we can get back to the hole. Played it a little right, cause I didn't wanna go left either. We hit a good shot there, but I think it's long actually. What this video is about, you can see from the title, it gave me three months. Essentially, I went to the doctor's office. Actually, let me backtrack. I was supposed to go to get my lab work done back way back in February, and I put it off just because I've been so busy shooting videos and editing, and I really have no excuse. I should have done it. Your health is important. So guys, this ball mark ended up right by the hole. It exactly 105, about nine feet of release. A good birdie putt here. A little left to right. Not much though. That way harder than I want it. They keep our head down. So I get the lab work done. Nurse calls me a couple days later and tells me that. My cholesterol is high. I really didn't want to go on the meds. You no, know, I'm probably going to go on them eventually. And I think she knew that. She's my boy. So she gave me three months to get some weight off and do the labs again. You guys probably don't know this, but if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will know that since I started shooting these videos, I kind of put it on a little way. I got 50 yards to that pin. There's no way I'm going to be able to fly it and hold it. So we're going to have 58. I'll try to land it just short into the wind. It should help it fly this to the green with this wind. All right, feel good about that one. Normally I'm the opposite of a lot of people. I work out and exercise a lot in the winter time. Well, this past winter I didn't do anything. I did some weights and I did the super speed, but I didn't do any cardio, didn't really watch my diet. So now I gotta get back to the grind. Gotta get back to the cardio, starting with walking a little bit more. For someone my size, you should burn about 400 calories walking the golf course per hour. I wanted to peak so bad, but I didn't. Just out of the corner of my eye. I'm going to try to walk eight hours a week, whether that's playing some holes during lunch, playing a couple hours in the evening. Got some different courses coming up, and we'll definitely try to walk them. I'm 198. I feel the wind at my back, but it's definitely down. I think it's more down and also blowing right a little bit, which kind of got a tree overhanging here that you really don't want the wind blowing off the off the left. It kind of blocks the left side of the green and the wind going that way. Wind's definitely going that way. It's getting a little firm with the helping wind. I don't really want to go long and there's nothing, no trouble up short. So I'm gonna hit a four hybrid here. If I can carry this 180 or so, I'm either gonna be on the green or just short of the green without any type of problem. Yeah, pretty good, I'm not sure if it's gonna get there or not. I went right at the cart sign. Guys, I lose track of my thoughts sometimes. I'm gonna play some clips or show you some clips of some of the old videos just so you can see. I actually, I'm gonna say gain 25 pounds or so i would say over the last year it's obviously not good for my health got an elliptical at home i'll do that but most importantly i'm gonna diet you know i don't eat really too much really bad food i've just been eating too much of it too many sweets i'm gonna cut a lot of that out basically go on a diet probably close to 1800 calories or so with that, with doing some weights and some super speed and of course the walking in the course, gonna set a small target of losing a pound a week. And then after 10 weeks, hopefully I'm down 10 pounds. I'll let you guys know how I'm doing. But it should be straight as a narrow inside left, if anything.
Oh. I'm going a little to the left here, so we're going to go down the aim this down the right side. Wind is helping. Got 153 to a back pin. It's uphill. It is kind of firm, so this is kind of a tricky little spot. Got to be really certain if you're going to hit a club that'll get it all the way back there that doesn't go long. 153, I'm figuring I got six more yards behind the pin. 159, and the wind is not dead downwind. It's a little right to left also. So I think I'm going to be safe if I hit a seven iron. So the trouble here is long and the trouble is left. If we do miss it right, we're kind of pitching into the slope a little. We missed it over to the right. And it's kind of a little garden spot. We're okay there. Landed it right here. This putt is going to break to the left. I'd say maybe a couple feet. It's all about speed here. That pretty hard. Well, not bad. This maybe gave it a little too much respect on the break. One's blowing left to right here and into us. So the side to miss this on, if you're missing it, it's going to be to the left. So we'll take this down left. It's a little bay. It just depends on where it bounces, whether it stays in the fairway or not. There's only so much time in a day, and I got a lot of things I try to do. First, I was going to try to lose a pound and a half to two pounds a week. I said, like, no, let's just take it slow. We don't have that much time to <laughs> be doing cardio and exercising and running and pound a week, wash to diet, try to get this cholesterol back in line. Let's try to get it down here for birdie. That's a good drive. Really not much to this green. It's pretty flat. So guys, that's 186 to that pin. Probably enough, the wind is directly into us. Well, into us and a little left to right. Kind of surprised by that, by how far that drive went. I think it's too much for the four hybrid. We're gonna go high wood here. It's hurting quite a bit. This high wood should be good. That's right, guys. That's right. I was kind of worried about the, the missed left. Left is all the trouble. So right again is kind of the garden spot here. We just keep hitting the ball to the safe sides, keeping us in the ball game. Eight feet here, moving a little, little right to left. Maybe a half ball out. And I pulled it right away. Pretty big inviting fairway out there. It's kind of a mound on the left side of green to the right of the cart path. We'll play it right there. Lost it, but I felt like I hooked it. I think one important key in golf is always kind of maintaining people looking at me. Like, what are you doing? Kind of maintaining your composure. I just made a bogey back there, hit that ball off the heel, pulled it. Wasn't really happy with the shot at all. Then I get up here and hit a bad drive. I'm going to maintain my composure. All I can do is focus on the shot at hand. And that's what we're going to do. Maybe in 10 or 15 years, this tree will be a problem. We've got 79 yards to that pin, which the wind is hurting just a tad. And we've got maybe four yards behind the pin to play with. 
So I think I can hit a pretty full 54 here. And as long as I don't catch some kind of flyer, I don't have to worry about going long. But if we hit it solid, we can get it to that pin. All right, get a good swing there. Blew this ball exactly pin high, 80 yards to that pin. Got a nice little four footer here. Straight putt. Might have caught the left side. I think the last few videos on this hole, I've hit it way left. So I wanted to focus on the actual swing this time. Drop down in the comment section if you have any specific golf goals or fitness goals. I want to stick around for a long time making this content for you. I think I joked on my 50th birthday that I wanted to make this content for you for at least 10 more years. It'd be great <laughs> to be able to walk this course actually and stick around a lot longer than that. We have a little tree trouble here. The wind is helping and I've got 156 to the pin, probably 146 to the front edge. So my two options, I can hit a seven iron low, which is harder to control the distance, but I can hit it low, probably run it up on that green, or I can hit a nine iron for sure over this tree branch and get it close to the front edge for sure. Eight iron would probably be a little bit iffy. When I was younger, we used to do this to where we could see the loft to see the trajectory of the shot. I don't know if that really worked or not, but we did it. Okay, we didn't hit it great. We're gonna need a little bounce to get to the front edge. We cleared the branch without a problem though. Hit it about seven yards short of the green. Someone didn't fix their ball mark over here. The left side, it's a slope coming back down. So it's extremely difficult to get this ball close to the hole. Perfect speed to get it close. It's gonna break left when it gets up there. Oh. Moves right to left, maybe four feet or so. I think I have to play it outside the hole though. I hope you enjoy the video. If you want to see a cool video on how to break 100, click the video to my right. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. My game's obscene now. Hooks